okay guys so i'm not sure if you can hear the singing from over there from that tree that i've just zoomed on and uh there's a green t-shirt in that tree i'm not sure if you can see it that is my nephew who is watching out for the baboons in that tree so that is how we used to do it back then we used to find places where we can hide so that the baboons won't be able to spot us when they come to try and raid the milk fields so that is my nephew over there enjoying himself in that tree watching out for the baboons hey guys welcome back to search cross organics it's a lovely afternoon here in zimbabwe and uh I'm here in Mashingo province. It's a place where I'd like to call uh, my roots. So this is the place where we used to come for the holidays, to spend the holidays with the grandparents. So guys, I just want to show you the fields. Unfortunately, it has not been raining uh, in this area. So the maize is not looking so good as it used to look uh, back then when we were still kids. It used to rain a lot. But now things have changed because of the climate change and uh, a lot of other reasons. So I just want to show you the fields. So currently the person who's staying here at the homestead is my cousin brother. So he's the one who is taking care of uh, the fields and uh, taking care of the, of the home. So I just want to show you the fields which they are tendering to and what's in the fields. Okay, so I'm going to turn my camera and show you uh, what they've planted and how the plants are looking like okay guys so right here in front of me this is a field of corn or maize but uh, as you can see the maize uh, is not doing so well it's healthy but because of the fact that it, it has not been raining you can see that the leaves are lacking moisture they are now pointing up and they are folded so that they can protect the remaining moisture that is still inside the leaves but uh this is the field guys it uh starts from here just at the back of the houses and it extends up to that end of the day and uh, below this field there's another field as well that uh extends up to that point over there and uh there's that garden down there I'm sure you can see that there is some corn that is looking a bit livelier down there. That one has been planted in the garden. So there is a well inside there. So it's easy to water that uh, those plants with the water from the well. Unlike these fields here, you can't uh, water this whole field from here up to that end and from there up to that end. So they rely on rainwater. For these fields to be watered okay so i'm just going to walk you right to the other field to show you uh the maize again that is growing in that field okay so i've come to this place right here this is where we used to sit when we were kids and uh, protect the maize fields from baboons and would uh, sip on my ale while we were watching for the baboons from here so here is the other field guys it begins from here and it extends uh, up to that uh, area where there is that boulder I'm not sure if you can see but uh, there is that boulder which is uh, far ahead there that is where this field extends up to and uh, there's also another field over there and in that field they've planted uh, peanuts but I'm not going to get there, uh, it's a bit far and uh, it's what, as you can see the sky is so blue and the sun is scorching hot so I'm not going to go there but uh, over there in that field there's got a uh, some peanuts which are growing there and uh, over there under that big tree that mokamba tree is the other place where we used to sit while we were watching for the baboons so it was so adventurous guys when we were growing up uh, there was never a dull moment 
Life back then was so interesting, guys. There was never a dull moment when we would visit the grandparents. Life back then was so much fun. Uh, it was so adventurous. All these borders that you see here, we used to climb uh, on these borders, all these mountains that you see. Uh, we used to climb all these mountains, uh, go for adventures, uh, go to play in these mountains. Uh, we used to slide uh, in that mountain over there. Uh, it's called Chemaja because of how it looks. You can see that it's a bowed mountain. There are only a few trees on that other side. So we used to climb that mountain and slide uh, on our backs. So life back then was so much fun, guys. Unlike life these days, the kids never get to experience uh, this life in the rural areas. So um, it was so much fun for us, guys. And... Uh, I'm sure you can see that these are such uh, huge fields. We used to get some corn to roast. We used to dig for what we call makurwe. We used to catch crickets. We used to catch uh, grasshoppers and fry them. And they were so delicious, guys. There's even more fields, guys, uh, which extend beyond those mountains that you see over there. Back then when my mother and their siblings grew up, they used to tend to those fields and like today, the main power is so scarce nowadays that we spend much of the time in the cities, we don't get uh, as much time to come here to the rurals and help with the, with the farming. So now uh, my cousin brother is only managing to, to farm on these uh, few fields which are near the home. So guys... This is it. This is uh, how life used to be in the rural areas when we used to grow up. We used to enjoy a lot and uh, I just decided that I need to come back here. I need to come back and experience the air and uh, to reminisce uh, on the experiences that we used to have when we were growing up, when we were still kids. Oh, I just remembered if you if you can see that board of there, there used to be another garden there and we also used to watch the baboons from that board over there so this is it guys this is uh, where i grew up this is where i used to spend the holidays and this is some of the things that we used to do over the holidays so i just want to thank you for watching guys um, i hope you enjoyed this video